Guys, today I want to talk about something I really need to work on, uh, and that is working as a team with a couple of different people. Because I'm taking chem this term, uh, which is like a very heavily lab-based class, and I just got assigned my lab group today. And that means uh, I'm going to have to work with these people for the rest of the term. And if you've seen any of my videos before, you'll know that I often complain uh, about doing group projects with people because I feel like some people put in less effort or uh, don't even care about their overall grade on the project. And while that is true, um, I want to make an effort this term in particular to uh, work on more teamwork. And the reason I want to do that is because I went to class today, right? And uh, I put on my lab coat and my goggles and they gave us gloves and stuff. And we sat down in the chairs and even though we were all kitted out to do an experiment and stuff, they had us just sit down and listen to them, like, explain a lecture, which is a little bit crazy, because I'm like, well, why did I need the lab coat and everything? Um, but they gave us a lecture. They're like, listen, this class is, uh, like, understandably, not all of you are going to be chemists as a, as a living, but uh, what we teach in this class is not just, like, the basics that you'll need for your major. It's also uh, we're teaching teamwork and, uh, like, group dynamics kind of thing and uh they mentioned a statistic that kind of changed my mind and i wanted to talk about it they said that um 70 of employers or something like that 70 percent of employers uh, are dissatisfied with college students uh teamwork abilities and i think that's uh that that's a crazy number uh, i would personally like to think that i can work well in groups uh, but I have also not necessarily proven that in the past group experiments that I've done uh, because I just don't think that I, I, I've enjoyed working in groups and I think it's, it's, it's challenging for me, but something I want to work on this term and I'm going to make a goals list in a couple of days and hopefully that'll help hold me accountable to this goal of mine. I want to work on uh, being like understanding of my group mates in labs and I want to focus on like getting the uh getting the best amount of practice in a team environment as i can because if i am hoping to get a good job someday i would like to be able to work on a team effectively and so that's something i need to practice and i guess now is a, a good time to practice it especially since i would like to pass chemistry and not have to retake this class because that would suck this uh this chemistry class i'm taking there's a one hour lecture every day and then there's a one hour discussion uh, on Wednesdays and then there's a two-hour lab on Mondays and Fridays and so that means I have like some days I have three hours of class a day um, for just this one one class that I'm taking never mind the other classes that are in my schedule you know and they're all time to uh, time consuming and whatnot uh, and then for this chemistry class, they've also got daily homework. They've got the lab assignments. Uh, they got the pre and post labs. So you got to do work before you get into the lab, like preliminary research. And then you've got to work with your lab partners in the lab. And then you got to work with them after the lab to make the lab report. And so I'm going to be doing a lot of teamwork this term, uh, whether I want to or not. And I think um, the best thing for me would be to try and work on making it more of a pleasant experience because in the past I've really not enjoyed it. And so... It's not gonna be easy. I'm, I'm not gonna enjoy doing this, but it's something that I think is important and I, I wanna focus on. And so that's what this video is about. I wanna kinda try and hold myself accountable. So if in a couple of weeks, I'm still complaining about my lab mates, um, that's, uh, that's gonna be a problem and I wanna be able to recognize that. And so when I make my goal sheet in a couple of days here, maybe when I get back from this uh, trip I'm going on this weekend, which I'll talk about in a second, maybe I'll make a goal sheet and, uh, and that'll, be, that'll be up there. So, so that's, uh, that's just on my mind and I wanted to talk about it. But, uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm going away for this weekend and I'm actually leaving in a few hours here. I'm going to the gym really quickly Then I'm coming back, uh, eating lunch. And then I'm going straight to my chemistry lecture after I just got out of the lab. And then, um, once I get out of the chemistry lecture, then I'm headed to the fraternity house. We've got to do like a cleanup at the end of the week. And so I'm involved in that. Uh, and then after that's done, I got to rush home back to my apartment, pack up all my stuff and then get in the car to leave so I really didn't have any time to uh to do any homework or anything today which is why I had to spend pretty much all day yesterday doing it I spent uh I went to the gym in the afternoon and then I stayed up till 12 doing homework last night just to uh make sure that I'd be completely all set to uh to go away for this weekend but it'll be it'll be nice to get away for a little bit and then uh 
then when we get back we can make the goal sheet and get right back into the the swing of the term here so i'm excited to share that all with you guys hope uh i'll make some progress this term but uh be sure to follow along if you want to see how well that's going um but yeah that's it for me today my name is tate harris this has been the daily report thanks for watching and i will see you tomorrow